Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, my channel Head Cannon. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've uh, moved uh, quite a bit, uh, putting stuff together. Um, but what I want to do is I wanted to finally uh, talk about uh, the Valiverse figures that have just come out. Um, this is a Series 1 Steel Brigade uh, figure, and then with some packs from the accessory uh, pack they sent. There was just nothing but packs in it. Uh, this is all I got from uh, Wave 1, uh, Series 1, uh, mainly just because, um, and I'll talk about this in just a second, um, just the, the price value, uh, and then just the demand for these figures was so big, I could only afford to get these two things, um, and, and not troop build, but if I could, I would get the entire uh, Series 1 um, line, line is just fabulous of what I've uh, seen so far and this isn't going to be so much a review of the figures because there's a lot of other YouTube channels that have reviewed these both the uh, the good and what they think is the bad um, I you know just off the bat I have not had any problem with this figure I followed the instructions the wave series one figures uh, a lot of the joints were a little tight um, so they actually when they ship you the figure you'll get a little sheet that explains how to do the warm water bath if you haven't ever done one on one of these things or you even use the heat gun or a little shock oil or something. Um, I follow those instructions. I uh, also, you know, calmly and carefully, if I felt resistance, I backed off um, and, uh, you know, did, did it again. But I had to only soak this figure one time to get it to get it right. So there's a lot of people that have done in-depth of uh, reviews of these figures. Uh, so I'm not going to go over that. But what I want to talk about is is um there's this is a f company that introduced a line and they did it right yeah you can go online you can see a bobby valo valiverse he's got his philosophy uh, about why he did it but basically what he did is uh for a brand new figure line it baked all the best the best points of nostalgia into it from the get-go um, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a, an older guy. I grew up in the, uh, in the 80s at the height of G.I. Joe. Uh, as I've gotten older and I've looked at how they built things, how they marketed things to kids, uh, how they just sucked you into that world, it makes sense now. And this is what kind of I feel that, uh, that Bobby Valla did uh, with this line. First of all, there's like multiple figures in the wave. Um, so right off the bat, they've built a mythology around these figures. Um, so if you want to be a hardcore mythology, there's comic books available for it. You go on the website, it tells kind of the backstory of the world of Action Force, which is great. It gives you a good foundational starting point if you need that. Uh, also, the way they've introduced these figures, um, there's like three separate factions, and you kind of kind of all tell they work. You know, the figures belong to a certain faction, and they work in that faction. So you can world build your own uh, mythology very easily uh, with these. Um, they... Wynn did some very great things with the guns and the accessories, uh, which is a big plus with this. So you can have your basics, your basic character figures, which Steel Brigade is one. Um, then there's a, there's Condor and Karak, uh, Sergeant Slaughter, which is another thing that bought immediately once they signed him on board for that. Um, that was a really big hit for all of us Joe fans of the 80s, you know, knowing Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, but having him part of the, you know, this line. Uh, you know, then the Steel Brigade figure, which uh, which everybody knows was a mail-away figure uh, back in the Joe day, that you'd actually fill out a file card for it, so you kind of created your own Joe. Uh, so they got the rights to the Steel Brigade. Uh, the Steel Brigade figure came with a, a blank uh, dossier that you could fill out, like when you were a kid, uh, but also knowing the collector side of people. Um, you know, if I was to resell this figure, which I don't think I ever am, um, I would include the blank sheet in there with it because that's the value to it. But knowing that, what they did is they enabled you on the website to go in and actually fill that sheet out and print out a PDF of that sheet so you don't have to mess up your nice sheet. Plus, I couldn't do it. I have horrible handwriting anyway. Um, so having a nice printout one of my figure, and this is a my Steel Brigade member uh, codenamed Checkpoint, um, and I made him a former highway patrolman. Uh, so he's more of the law enforcement, the military, because I kind of like that idea of, of playing around with that. But that lets you really connect you to the universe um, with that. And then a couple of the other things that they did, because this is really cool, is I'm going to pull this up. 
you know, they give you the old school style file card. It's that old, uh, <laughs> that gray kind. So you got the fire star, you know, the file card with the artwork. Um, then the other characters in the series. Um, so you know, you got the, the cross sale for that, which is amazing. And that's that, you know, just really reminiscent of the old style G.I. Joe artwork. Uh, the uh, action points. If uh, folks remember clipping those out to send in for giveaways. Uh, mailway items, which they say they are going to do those in the future. Um, we just don't know when that's going to be and how much the points are uh, going to cost. I would suggest, um, I think early in the Kickstarter run, they did a weapons prototype pack uh, and had it as a company of uh, Crimson Shadow, I think. I think it would be really cool to do like that kind of thing again um, for the, uh, the action points. So do you kind of keep that Crimson Shadow uh, Corporation thing going and I do either another prototype pack or a brand new accessory pack um, and let's talk about so you have your basic figures uh, and they come stacked with gear um, extra hands weapons holsters um, what have you and then what was really great and this harkens again harkens back to the old GI Joe line is I remember as a kid I would lose my weapons to some characters and Hasbro actually put out accessory packs, like a weapons pack, where it was just a, a carter pack of like th that kind of year's uh, weapons uh, from the figure. It was molded in different colors, so you didn't get them mixed up. So you could mix and match weapons with characters or replace uh, weapons you lost. So they have a couple of weapons packs, and then also um, they took the basic gear, like this, this basic vest, and some of the other characters have a different like a vest for them. Uh, as well, but they then took those vests, recolored them, and put them in like gear packs, like an urban gear pack or um, uh, an assault gear pack. So basically, you're getting the same same usage of all all the bits and pieces, but now you have accessory packs um, because they also did in addition to the named characters, they did a, uh, like I think three generic bodies. Um, you know, it's all the same body style, um, but just differently. The ones like an urban. Uh, one's like blue riot gear and another's in black special ops. So now you can buy accessory packs and swap it out and create your own troops, which is keys into another great point of this line. Because uh, what I've seen now is I've seen a lot of people on the uh, in the Facebook group and all that. They're pulling their figures apart and they're and they're kid bashing uh, either upgraded versions of the character or brand new characters. So just the, the ease of the ability to take these figures apart, which I'm not going to do because I am I uh, have a tendency to break things, so I'm not going to ever take this thing apart. Um, but just the, the kit bash is like, and that's just again reminiscent of the, that moment as a kid when you figured out if you just uns if you unscrewed uh, there's a little screw in the bottom of the backpack hole on a GI Joe figure, a three three quarter inch figure, that you can unscrew it, take that thing apart. And then you could just like kit bash because I had some broken Joes too, or, or Joes that the O ring would pop on them or something like that. And I would take them, some model paint, and bam, I have brand new figures, new, you know, new characters, new Joes, new Cobras. That is so that it taps into that. And everything about this set invites you, uh, this line invites you to open the packages up and take the figures out, which is so huge. I see all the time. Um, people having displays of like Marvel, Marvel Legends, NECA, um, Star Wars Black Series, what have you, all these six-inch figures. And what folks have done is there's just shelves of them uh, still in the package. Um, they don't want to actually, you know, take them, take them out of the package, um, you know, because a lot of what they do is, is they resell them, which I get that. And I would rather, I would much rather buy, uh, if possible, a, a brand new in-box figure or something I'm looking for. Um, but I'm an opener. Uh, all my Marvel Legends, these boxes that you see stack that I'm using as a backdrop here, um, it contains a lot of my Marvel figures, my G.I. Joe Classified, some Power Rangers Lightning stuff. All these things are open. I open them, I take them out, I pose them, I, I, I play with them. Um, so on, online, what I'm seeing a lot of people do is I see, mostly I see people, they'll display a boxed uh, Valorverse figure, Valorverse figure, um, when they first get it, when it first arrives, and then after that, it's opened. Um, you know, just it's just something about this line that just invites you to 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 play with the figure, uh, to enjoy, it, to fully experience everything 
with it. And I think that those key points, um, like I said, it baked nostalgia into this thing, into a brand new uh, line of toys. I mean, even Action Force, you know, we know what Action Force originally was back in the 80s you know, when we found out about that. So it just everything is just like it's designed. It is something, it is something fresh that hits all the right notes. Um, it's an it's an old song with uh, with flourishes on it. It's just so amazing. Um, now, one of the things though is is the price on these. Um, you know, your average Jedi classified Marvel Legends right now is running twenty three bucks, and the rumors is going to go up to twenty five bucks soon. Um, these are a little bit pricier. Um, I, I think I don't think they need to. I don't think it needs to be this much. This is about thirty-two dollars for the figure, um, and then the the uh, the backpack accessory kit that I got uh, came with um, nine pieces in it. It's all the same sling bag, uh, medium pack, large pack, but in diff but in three different colors. It was like thirteen bucks, which I think was good for the. That's about where the accessory packs run you. Um, the figure is about thirty-two dollars. Um, but the thing is that even at that price point, even though I feel that it could be a little bit lower, and I understand the reason why it's not, this is not, this, you know, uh, but I don't feel ripped off for what I paid for this. Just with the amount of accessories, the gear, the, just the, the multiple sets of hands on this figure, um, the ability to, you know, to swap parts if I wanted to, um, just the value you're getting out of this figure is great. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to the next uh, next wave. Uh, already uh, wave two um, is closing out pre-orders uh, this week at time of this recording. Um, again, there's a lot of stuff in wave two I wanted to get, um, but all I got out of wave two was the uh, one. Of the, there's a generic uh, trooper, the Delta trooper, the Jungle trooper, I believe. It's a it's the basic body in um, in uh, OD green. Uh, suit and then I got the 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 Delta accessory pack which is the the OD green gear that will go great on that body as well and then I got the weapons pack Charlie which is a third weapons pack because there's a lot of weapons in there that I want uh from that because that uh that, that trooper is I wanted to get one of the weapons packs uh the Bravo weapons packs from the first first series um, but you know, again, the budget I have right now, I had to make a choice between the backpacks or that. Um, and the one thing I really wanted out of that, uh, Charlie, that Bravo weapons pack was the uh, Marine Corps cover, the eight corner cover for that upcoming trooper that I'm getting. Um, but at the end of the day, I had to make a decision and I decided on the packs because I can use these across multiple figures, um, as well. So that's, I'm going to order those directly from Valiverse and those, those should be coming sometime in May is when they said, um, I will more than likely steer away just because of the cost, steer away from the uh, the named characters. I mean, I would love to get a Sergeant Slaughter um, or some of, them some of the Swarm Troopers they have. Um, really good. Um, but probably I will, you know, I will get the, uh, there's a, a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive Steel Brigade Niops figure uh, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on pre-order. Uh, to get and just kind of um, that's how I'll, do. I'll, I'll variant troop build um, Steel Brigade figures uh, instead and plus that one the Jungle Trooper uh, because I'm going to turn that in kind of like a mini me back from my days when I was in the Marine Corps um, and then in wave three uh, they will be introducing female figures um, and there's rumors there's going to be a female Steel Brigade figure in that one uh, so I will get uh, I will, I'll more than likely order that one um, it's, it's just a great line to invite. Like I said, it's, it's just, um, you know, check a few other channels out on the actual details of the figure. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of touch on the why behind this figure and why I think this line, if they can keep this up, if he can keep this, this going, um, you know, it's, it's got all, all the things needed for, uh, success in it. Um, the, the only variation, going back to the Steel Brigade figure, the only variation is, I guess, I think that was for the Kickstarter program uh, that was originally, uh, if you like backed at a certain time or level, uh, you got an additional um, Steel Brigade head with um, uh, with the with on the on the mask, the metal, the silver parts on the mask were gold, and that was like a Steel Brigade commander. So of course you know, <laughs> they don't sell those. 
they're not giving it out. I can't get a, a second Steel Brigade figure to swap that out of even if I did. So I'll probably not have that variant of the Steel Brigade. But kind of my goal right now with this is um, if I can only get one figure in, in each each line is I'm going to variant troop build uh, the Steel Brigade figure. I, I, I just love it. It's great. Um, hopefully as, as this grows and as they uh, get things nailed down, and especially if they can get to the point where this will move into a real, 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 <clears throat> real, real space, realty space, realtor space, I'm sorry. Um, we will get this, uh, the price point down just a little bit so I can kind of spoil it. Right now I can go justify you know, picking up a, a $22 Marvel Legends figure and it's not going to bust the budget. But by the time I pay $32 for a figure um, plus shipping, uh, you're looking at about a $40 uh, figure. So there's no way I can build uh, like that. Unless I go sell them a Marvel Legends, which I'm not ready to go do that yet. Um, but again... Listen, this, this thing hits all the right buttons uh, for me as a collector and for many others as a collector. So um, I look forward to more of it. Um, that's like I said, unfortunately, this is all the Series 1 I'm going to get, so I'm going to really enjoy this. And I've got that figure and the accessory packs are coming in um, in, two, in uh, Series 2B. Um, and then once uh, three they put out the 3 to pre-order, I will, uh, you know, pre-order uh, some of that as well as the Steel Brigades. Uh, but go out if you can find them, get them. Um, if you still can, if not, I guess you got a short window for the Series Two to be open. Um, and then, uh, you know, like I said, um, good luck. It's it's worth it. I, I really do. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that aren't happy with the breakage problems, but to me, a lot of that's they, they told you what to do with it. Um, it's it's your user error at that point. But I haven't any problems with this one. But I encourage people to uh, collect this line. So that's all for now. I'm starting to ramble a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go and, and uh, go and play with this awesome figure. And I'm an Action Force fan. You, you've got me. Uh, just keep it up. All right. That's all.